hello guys welcome back to a brand new video now today obviously uh, Wolverhampton beating Brighton 2-1 not a result that Brighton uh, fans wanted you know really but we're staying up anyway that's confirmed um, but I'm going to run this red card past you uh, you know it's going to be quite an interesting red card debate um, it's only going to be a short little video as well, so, but anyway guys, let's get straight into this video, so guys, you know what to do, give us a little big like if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, right, let me just play this clip, I'm going to try and get it spot on. So, here the clip comes, right, so it's this player here, and this Wolverhampton player here, you got Webster here, and you got Dunk on this side. Um, if now for my um his, uh, expectations, I always did put the red card on website, even though it went the power got sent off. I'll sort of tell you why. If you look here where this gap is, this is where this part is going to go straight through there. So possibly one of two things could have happened. Um, so either I think Duncan came in maybe a bit closer to. This part, I think that's what Webster was thinking. Um, but then you see Webster get chugged into this man, leaving this ball run to play free to go up there. And this will put the blame on Webster. Uh, just play it on a bit more. So look, you can actually see the gap there. Here is where Webster should be standing. And here is where, you know, he probably would have got stopped if Webster was in there. Um, but unfortunately he got two trapped into both these Wolverhampton players. A very good run by the Wolverhampton man. Um, now for me, I would have actually done the same thing if I was playing. The one thing you learn about playing football is your pattern of play with your coach. Um, and as you can tell why it's just loading, um, yet again the gap is still here. Webster should be coming back. Um, but we go on if it lets us. So here's the gap, there's the uh, Webster. Webster's too far out of position. Now we're playing three at the back. You've got White, Dunk, who is obviously the player who got sent off. Dan Burn, obviously nothing to play with. If Webster stayed at his ground, I reckon Webster would have got there. Um, but as I said, he got too trapped in to actually do anything. Um, which is a bit unfortunate, I know. But And then obviously, as I said, you just see the gap appearing and obviously look at this side there could be one or two um things happen maybe this player got over to this side um unfortunately we never know now and then um, look he's straight through dunk should be around here somewhere webster should be maybe close to well over this side um but as i said got two side tracks on um and then on obviously the red card appeal uh, and then yet again we look at one or two scenarios could maybe dunk let him score or we'll get a shot off and would Sanchez save it or maybe something else may have happened he may have missed it but obviously we never know now and as you can tell really look at the space between dunk and Webster again and I'll put the red card um, for on Adam Webster um, that's just my opinion obviously feel free to put yours in the comments below just to let you know, I will be going to the Manchester City game on the 19th or 18th of May. I think it might be the 18th. Um, but yeah, I'll be going to that game. Flogs, the Flogs will be coming back for the new Premier League season, plus all the Euro build-up, plus my 26-man squad, who I would take to the Euros over Southgate. You get to vote on that as well. So guys, a lot more content coming up on my channel. But guys, anyway, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give it a big up for that you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.